previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy was chosen to be the Slayer and infused with what we come to find out is secretly a demonic power by a bunch of vaguely old, old tribal dudes so that she can fight the forces of darkness, which leads her to burn down her high school and then have to change her entire face and political party. Yeah, the original Buffy is now full MAGA. I'm very sorry. She is. Anyway, she moves to Sunnydale, where she meets Giles and Willow and Xander and Cordelia, who isn't in this episode, but who the fuck cares? I wanted to mention that. Anyway, they fight off vampires and demons in Maggie Walsh's art project. And then a god, and then Buffy dies. Well... She dies for the second time. The first time made Faith, another Slayer who isn't in this episode because she has an arc on Angel, which is a spin-off that features Cordelia, so watch it. Anyway, Willow, who's now a lesbian witch, brings her back from the dead with the begrudging help of her girlfriend, Tara, who thinks she's using too much magic to solve all her problems. And what is this, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? <laughs> And then, just to prove that Tara was correct all along, Willow casts a spell to wipe Tara's memory of that argument. Meanwhile, Xander, who used to date Cordelia, proposed to Anya, because he has a type. <laughs> when he thought that they were all going to die, he proposed, and then only Buffy died, so now he's stuck marrying Anya, which wouldn't be so bad, but she used to be a vengeance demon who tormented men with magic for centuries, and he's kind of nervous about that. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Giles thinks Buffy needs to grow up and stand on her own two feet more because she hasn't been there for her sister Dawn. Well, I mean, she's kind of her sister, but she's also a ball of magical energy given life by a spell cast by a bunch of monks right before Buffy's mom died, which always seemed like really cruel timing. Anyway, it's not the cruelest death the series will have. Stay tuned. <laughs> Anyway, now they're all hanging out at Giles and Anya's store called The Magic Box and watching their chosen one struggle as she refuses to, like, see a therapist or take an SSRI. <laughs> Instead, she's chosen to flirt with another vampire, her second vampire boyfriend, mind you. But unlike, unlike that, fir that first one, he doesn't have a soul. He just has a microchip in his brain which renders him incapable of hurting people. So he's like a sociopath on a leash. What a, what a, what a, what a bitch! <laughs> Anyway, she thinks that he's hot because she has self-destructive tendencies and that's what you missed on Glee. Yeah. 